Next in line in learning MATLAB is if conditions, which are commands to compare uh, two values or basically decide or determine if a certain condition is true. And based on true or falseness of the condition, certain commands will be executed. So I'm going to start a script again with clear close all in CLC and define three variables. A is equal to one, B is equal to two, and C is equal to uh, one. First, I want to compare if A and B are equal. So if A, and I put two equal signs, which means I'm actually doing a comparison. If I put just one, Matt, that would give me an error saying that this is not the proper use of equal sign if you want to compare two things. So I put two uh, equal signs and say B, and then press enter. And as you can see, there is by default a tab added to the next line, which means everything in here wants to be um, after uh, wants to be done if the uh, has to be done if the if clause is true or returns true. Then I would say uh, f print f, which is a, a cool command to print stuff in the command window or in files, and say a is equal to b and go to the next line backslash n means go to the next line if i run this alone i put the n there press Control enter you see that nothing is printed in here because if i do condition is equal to a equal to equal b it's false. The condition is not true because A and B aren't the same. A is one, B is two. So what I have to do here is say else. Now let's just copy this line and print it here and say F is not equal to B. Now if I run this command, you see that it prints here A is not equal to B. I can run the same thing, a similar thing to compare A and C. So I'm just going to change this to C and change this to C and change this, this to C. So first I'm comparing A and B, which is false. So it's going to print this line. A is not equal to B. And then I'm comparing A to C, which says A is equal to C. And um, it's not going to print this part. So if I press this line, See that A is equal to C, but A is not equal to B. The next thing to do is basically learn about else if. So I want to comment out these lines that I just typed. I want to say if A is equal to B, F print F, A is equal to B but I'm not gonna put a next um, so I'm just actually gonna put this here go to the next line else if a is equal to C so it actually does it when um, it does this part if a is equal to b. If not, it comes to the next line, which means if a is equal to c, I'm going to say f print f. A is equal to c, and then backslash n, and then else. F print f. A is not equal to B or C. And go to the next line and end it here. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to check if A is equal to B. And if it's equal to, to B, it's going to write A is equal to B. If it's not true, which actually isn't because A is 1 and B is 2, it's going to come to this line. A is equal to C. Is, is this true? And if it's true, it's going to say A is equal to C. 
which should be because a and c are the same value. But if a and c are in the same, it's going to print a is not equal to b or c. So let's try this first. So it only prints a is equal to c. Now change the value for c so that it doesn't equal to a and run this. It says a is not equal to b or c. But what I want to do actually here is to change the value of b to be equal to 1. What I'm expecting to happen is that as it reaches this point and it finds that a is equal to b, it prints this line and doesn't do anything else. So if I print that, it says a is equal to b. And in order, in order to make sure that it doesn't come to this line or to this line, I want to make c is also equal to 1. And as you can see, a is not equal to b, or a is equal to c is not printed in here. Now the next thing I want to print or I want to do is to use and or or commands, and 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 commands, or and and or commands in the if condition. It's actually very difficult to say it. So I'm going to get back to my original values. I want to say if a is equal to b and a is equal to c f print f means a is equal to both a and b and go to the next line and do an end so what this will do is it compares this and this and there is an and here which means both of these conditions must be true for this line to be executed. So let's actually try to see if this will give us a true or a false. Cond is equal to this, and it gives me true, which shouldn't be, because a is equal to one. So I think I should change this. And yeah, so I only needed one AND in here. And let me actually put this in parentheses and this in parentheses. Doesn't print anything there. And it's giving me a warning that use double, but it didn't really work for me. So let's try it again. It didn't print anything. And that's what I expect because this is going to be false. This is going to be true true and false gives me a false so let me do it this way true and false gives me a false true and true gives me a true and false and false i i had a typo there yeah false and false gives me false so here a equal B is going to be false because A and B are not the same, but A and equal C is going to give me true, which means uh, because A and C are the same. And because false and true makes a false, this line will not run. So what I'm going to do here is say else. Go to the next line, F print F. A is neither equal to b nor c and go to the next line and now if i run this with control enter a is neither equal to b nor c another thing i want to do is to say else if A is equal to B or A is equal to C. Now, I'm using OR instead of AND, which means if this is false but this is true, the condition is going to be true. And if they're both true, it's still going to be true. 
So again, true or true is true. True or false is true, but false and or false is going to be false. Now, if I do this, I can say f print f a is equal to either b or c and that's because we don't really know what is happening and i think this is uh this statement is wrong because uh in the beginning b before i did the else if it was wrong because c a was equal to c so i should have said uh i should have changed this before but that's okay uh, you get the idea so right now i'm checking if a is equal to b and a is equal to c it's going to give me a is equal to both a and b and i'm going else if if a is equal to b or a is equal to c so if it's uh, if it's equal to either or both of them it's going to give me true so uh, i've written a is equal to either b or c or both and else, if none of these two conditions is true, it means A is not equal to either B or C. So if I run this, it says A is equal to either B or C or both. That's because this one was true. If I do this, all of them are the same. And if I run this, A is equal to both A and B. And if I just change all of them, says a is neither equal to b nor c so this is a uh, basic tutorial on how if clauses work in matlab we had three values we compared the values we did else if else and tried uh, and and or and matlab if clauses to see how multiple conditions would work together and based on the trueness of each of the conditions, we actually did so, ran some of the commands that we wanted to run.